All right, so I want to do some kind of wacky stuff and really out there stuff. And I haven't really played with the water too much. I reversed it and added some reverb, but let's see what we can get with that. So let's paste that a little further down and get what we get. All right, let's try something different. Let's do... Change the pitch, but we'll bring it way, way down. to it so we just get low low sounds low pass no yes low pass filter good setting. Maybe we'll try 400. Whoops. I wanted to preview it first, not actually do it. So thank goodness for control Z undo. Try that again. Low pass filter. Obviously that's very soft, so let's bring up the volume level with the easy normalize. So 6 dB is good. Okay. Now that just sounds like some random noise. Let's see here. Um, Let's do some delay. That'll be fun. Delay. Now, delay is an interesting effect. Um, it uh, because the sound is already kind of random. It's not going to be evident what delay is if you're not familiar with it. changing it the way try the wah wah yeah and even the wah wah because the, the sound of the water is already kind of has an a wah wah effect because it's loud and soft and loud and soft the wah wah is not really going to do a whole lot to that Phaser might be interesting. Let's try that. So it almost sounds like boiling water now. Interesting, we've changed it, but it's still very low, rumbly pitch, not not the high frequencies of the water sound. There we go. That's 
that's pretty strange. Okay. Now I was trying to get something a little out there and weird. Zoom out a little bit and see where's a good place to put that. Zoom after that. See how that little line comes in, kind of telling us, oh, you're at the end of that file right there, or peaks in certain files, beginnings of other files, which is kind of helpful to help line things up. Especially when we're sketching like this. Obviously, there was a little pop at the end of that file because it was such an abrupt change. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of a tail fade on that. Zoom in. And we'll do a little bit of a fade out. Now, if you wanted to continue that rumbling sound, of course, it's just as easy as copying. And overlaying these sounds so that we're kind of getting that, like a drone effect, basically, of that water sound that we've mod modified. I think this is getting a little boring with just these three sounds, so I'm going to try and find another sound for the next video to add to this to make it a little bit more interesting.